Hi everyone, it's Summer with the Starry Sun and I am doing a VR to uh, the hashtag Rainbow Decks and originally I saw it over on Boho Tarot's channel but the actual hashtag originated with Meadowlark Mystic. I wrote it down so that I would remember. I will put both of their links down in the description box. So please be sure to check those out. I thought this would be a really fun hashtag to do. Basically, um, it's the primary colors, red, yellow, orange, uh, blue, green, and purple. The colors of the rainbow, rainbow deck. And you pick a deck to go with each color, like uh, instinctively. You don't think a lot about it or anything like that. So what I did, because I own Oracle and Tarot cards, is I picked one of each color because I saw somebody else do that and I thought that was a fantastic idea since I like both Tarot and Oracle and it just says Rainbow Decks. It doesn't specify whether it's Tarot or Oracle. So um, first up is my red one. So my straight up thought for red, I don't really like the color red. So I always go to a darker place when red is involved and I chose the, um, oh my gosh, the Deviant Moon Tarot. It actually has quite a bit of red in most of the cards. What really gets me um, red about these cards is like the lips, how red the lips are. Uh, like the red is vibrant in these cards, like it's super vibrant. And it's one of those darker decks. So that's why I chose the Deviant Moon Tarot for my red. Even though the backs aren't red, the box isn't red either, but the red stands out in the cards to me. Um, and then the oracle that I chose for red is the um, Firefox Oracle. Because, well, the backs are bright red, of course. <laughs> Super red backs, right? But actually, a lot of the cards have a whole lot of red in them too. There's, uh, I mean, oranges and reds and they, they, it stands out. The red stands out in the Oracle, but this one isn't a darker deck. I just feel like a lot of fire energy from it, hence red again. Um, this could have probably worked for orange, but I just saw red for this one. <laughs> Cause probably cause of the backs of the cards, you know, it's, it's weird how instinctively you think of those decks and you're like, Oh, that would be perfect for this color. And then you could look at the deck and you're like, huh, didn't realize it didn't have as much red or as much blue or whatever that I thought it did. So that's why I think this is an interesting challenge is because you're kind of just picking up the decks that you think are the color and then trying to figure out why you chose those ones. Okay, the next one I'm gonna do is orange. And for my uh, tarot deck, I chose uh, the Joie de Vivre. Obviously the backs are orange and yellow, so that really stuck out to me as orange. But a lot of the cards have orange in them. Quite a few actually. So this is why this one stood out as orange to me is because there is so much vibrant orange in this deck. There are a lot of other colors, but orange is pretty prevalent in this deck. Surprisingly more than I thought it would be. I thought I would choose it just because of the backs, but the cards have a lot of orange in them as well. And then the Oracle deck I chose to go with orange is the Goddess uh, Power Tarot deck, or uh -huh, Oracle deck by Colette Baron reed now, the backs don't really scream orange or anything like that, but similar to the Joie de Vivre, there's a lot of, of, of bright orange vibrancy in these cards that really just stand out as orange. And they're, I mean, let's face it, they're really pretty cards. I mean, there's green, but that orange just really, I mean, it's, it stands out. You can tell, right? It's, it's, it pops off of the... Um, off of the cards and I just think it's beautiful so that's why I chose uh, the goddess by Colette De uh, Colette Baron Reeve for my orange deck all right and then yellow is next mm -hmm, mm -hmm. my yellow deck is the mystic fairy tarot um, it's kind of like a brown or like a light Victorian style yellow almost gold um, but there's a lot of yellow in the cards as well. They're very pretty cards. They have, they really do have like a lot of different colors in them, but almost 
in almost all the background, even the fairies themselves kind of look, have a yellowish tint to them or maybe like a cream color that seems yellow to me. And then there's the vibrant yellow inside the cards and some of the cards as well um, that stands out. Even some of like the shirts and the dragon and stuff like that. The yellows kind of blend together in this deck. This isn't like a super vibrant deck. It's almost a softer coloring of deck, but not quite as soft as say Shadowscapes is. But this is my yellow tarot. And the yellow oracle that I chose is the um, fairy deck, the fairy oracle deck by um, same lady who did the Joie de Vivre, <laughs> Bolina Cassidy, there we go. The backs are pretty yellow, um, yellow borders all the cards, um, and then there's a lot of yellow in the cards as well. This is a much more vibrant deck, um, but this guy stood out to me the most for yellow, which is why I kind of chose this deck was because this guy really stood out to me. All right, so then I'm going to go with blue. So the blue tarot that I chose is the Fantastical Creatures Tarot. And I actually originally chose it because the box is blue, but when I went through it, I realized the cards actually have a lot of blue in them as well. Surprisingly more blue than I originally thought they would have. There is just a ton of blues. So that's why I chose this deck for that one and I, I chose pretty good honestly I, I was I was surprised I didn't really originally I was gonna I wasn't sure that it would uh, be a, a very blue deck I remembered the borders being more of a brown when I had originally worked with this deck I don't know a year ago I think it was so it's pretty cool that I remembered that so much of it was blue and then the Oracle deck I chose is the Amy Brown fairies Oracle fairy wisdom Oracle not only for the backs but actually there's a lot of blue in the cards and purples. Um, she just has a lot of different colors, very vibrant colors in this deck, but the blues are really pretty when they are in here. I can't say that all of it's blue or it has a ton of blue in it. It's this light blue that just really made me think of the Fairy Wisdom deck by, this is the newer one too. The older one has a lot of blue in it, but this one's the one that stood out to me. So it's the newer one by Amy Brown. All right, and la uh, the next one, not last, ha, huh? the next one is green. And the uh, tarot deck that I chose for green is actually fairy tarot. Uh, and the backs are pretty green. Uh, there's a lot of green on these bags, which I hadn't remembered what the bag looked like, but the cards themselves have a lot of green in them. And not just like a little bit of a green, but like a very vibrant green. I know that there's other there's other greener decks, but this is also like an earthy fairy deck. So it really stood out to me. Look at the greens. It really stood out to me as a green deck. This guy right here, this guy right here, his green hat and everything. Yeah, totally, totally him. And the green in the background of this. So that's why this one stood out so much as a green deck. <laughs> Little green dragon guy. You know, earthy is very green too, but and they're playful and stuff like that. This deck is, this tarot deck. And then the oracle that I chose is the fairy blessing cards. The back really is what drew me to um, picking these ones. Um, and it's another fairy deck. Let me see. It does have some really pretty green fairy cards in it, but this is a, a whole slew of colors. Blues, purples, greens, browns, um, yellows. It kind of has a whole slew of all of them, but green is, is really what comes across for this one. And probably that earthy aspect that comes with this deck, because even the book, very green, very green. All right, and the last set of cards is purple. And I chose, I chose it. Interestingly, I chose a, a weird deck for purple. The Ethereal Visions Tarot. <laughs> you would think maybe yellow or orange because it has that gold gilding on it, right? But really, not so much. The back 
has this really like light violet purple on it. And most of the cards have this really cool light purple as well. Like check this out. The, the beast on this one, I guess it's not really a beast, but like the face, not only is this part purple, but so is the outline on the gray one, okay? How cool is that? And then there's purple down here in these cards. Her dress is purple. There's purple in the flowers. I mean, I know that there's the gold gilding, the very yellow gold gilding, but there is a lot of purple in this deck. And so it surprised me that I chose it. I had remembered that the backs were purpley, but I'm su surprised that so much inside the deck had purple too. And I've worked with this one recently. So maybe in my brain, it just kind of stood out like, ah, there's your purple deck <laughs> for tarot. Um, and then the purple oracle that I am choosing is an indie oracle deck. It's very pretty. Um, it is called the Witching Hour Oracle, and I will leave a link uh, to this deck because it's the only indie deck in here um, in the description if you want. But it comes in this purple bag. The book that it comes with is very purple. The backs are very purple. Um, it's got purple glittery stuff on the sides, which you probably can't see so well. But check these out. There is just purple everywhere. There's so much purple in these cards. And they're such a pretty deck. They kind of feel like suede which makes them stick together a little bit, but that doesn't take away from the beauty of the cards in general. Um, I haven't used these very much. They're just so pretty, and indie decks, it's just hard. It's like, I don't want anything bad to happen to this deck because it's so pretty, but it's, it's my purple oracle deck, so. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will be looking out for other people who are also doing this VR hashtag for the rainbow decks. Very blessings.